my son. We put him in a school and it was a disaster. They had put him with students that were much older to challenge him academically. But what we found was that socially and emotionally, he was legitimately being exposed to things that were traumatic for him. And so we had an incident one night at a soccer practice and he came over and he sat down on the bench next to me and he started crying. And my son says through his, his tears, Harriet Tubman, and he said to me, Mommy, did you know that we used to kill people because they looked different than we look? <laughs> and it, you know, at this point he had just turned five. That was just sort of the proverbial straw that broke my back. And I said, I'm, I'm gonna open the school because he needs a place. This journey literally started with a bottle of wine and the book Nonprofits for Dummies. It's a real thing. And I just, I, I started reading. And I thought, I don't know how, I don't know how I'm going to do this, but I'm, I'm going to do it. My name is Nikki Deslack, and I am the founder of Create Conservatory. We are a K through six STEM school. Create Conservatory is in Lake County, Florida, around the Orlando main city area. This area of Lake County does compromise of a lot of lower income families. CREATE's mission statement is to impact the lives of the community by teaching STEM education through arts integration. What that basically means is everybody gets a song stuck in their head and they can't get it out no matter how hard they try, right? It's like stuck in there forever. So why aren't we teaching kids math that way? Why don't we teach them science that way? Uh, I was very aware that the traditional classroom that my daughter was in was not serving her. I started to realize not only did she learn differently, but she was left behind. So I met Nikki. I knew it. I knew this was the right person to engage my child. But it's not an art school. That's what really intrigued me, is how she weaves it together with the STEM subjects. So it's rigorous. She abides by the standards for the state. Obviously our data speaks for itself. So our students have shown an average of three years of growth in every subject area every year they've been with us. As an art teacher, there's always some aspect of one of those components of STEM in just that art project. Who can raise their hand and tell me what does that mean if something is symmetrical? Today my lesson has to do with symmetry. That's a math concept. That's a science concept. This week in science we are learning about the flower, the anatomy of it, and the different parts of it. Cool! What? Soil! They'll be planting seeds in it to see how the flower grows from a seed to the actual flower. It's this amazing magical opportunity for kids to think like creative problem solvers. Emily, my daughter, it's amazing for her. For the first time, I can actually physically measure her progress and her success. And she is excited to go to school every day. So we opened in fall of 2020, and it was myself and seven kids. Uh, fall of 2020 is not the time to open an elementary school, I understand. It was like literally like Staples and duct tape and me that first year. And so each year that we have existed, we have doubled in size. So this year we have 27 kiddos. Nikki has made it absolutely fundamental that whoever needs to be here can get here. Currently, about 96% of our students come to us at no cost to their families. That money comes from private funding and donations and corporate sponsorship. So currently we are renting some space from a church and the space has served us really well, but we've outgrown it and we really wanted our, our home that belonged to us. So welcome to our new location where we'll be moving and this is almost 2.5 acres of land that used to be a miniature golf course that we are renovating to become our eventual K through 12 campus. It was constantly hurdles. Every single day there's a hurdle. 
They're about to shut the power off in the new building because they're saying we never paid the bill, but we set up auto pay. Unbelievable. There was a problem with the new location today and some mess up with the electric bill. The building actually got broken into last week <laughs> and my brand new doors were kicked in and damaged. Sorry. There have been issues with a squatter on the property. When we went inside and went upstairs, um, there is a person asleep in my building right now. And a squatter broke into the building. So here we are on the phone with 911. And established himself there on an air mattress. There's just a million things all the time. In addition to all those small business problems, I have to lesson plan and I'm the front desk person. She starts her day so early in the morning. She gets up, she's helping the kids pack their lunches, get ready for school. Not burn the house down. <laughs> and then she lets the dog out. So. And hops in the car. I don't think so. And then on the way to school, she's mom. Is it a word right? It's okay to say you're not sure about that one. And then she gets here, she's scrubbing toilets and vacuuming carpets. So much of the burden falls on her shoulders. And yet, she handles it. So in addition to infusing the arts into the curriculum every day, we feature a special art form every nine weeks. Hi guys, how are you? It's this amazing opportunity for us to celebrate all of their hard work and all of their dedication to their learning. Thank you guys so much for coming. I know it's a really crazy time of year. And they're so proud of themselves and it's a very cool thing to witness. It, the parents just love it. Like we, we love being able to get together and watch them and kind of come together as a community to celebrate them. In our K-1 classroom is doing a scene from The Grinch. And then the third through sixth graders, they're doing this sort of stomp-esque performance piece. They have all grown so much already that to see the confidence in the students who are new to us this year, who did it yesterday and they were like, oh, we did it. Good morning. As a nonprofit, Nikki has really made create a special, special part of our community here in Lake County. What it offers to our community is a place where basically just kids that are kind of different in some way can come and just be themselves. Hi guys! It's this amazing thing when, when I open the car doors in the morning and kids get out and they're smiling and you know it's like what are we gonna do today? You can see other children's transformation and by the end of the year it's not like it's even the same child. There are times when I walk into the building and I look around and I think this is utter chaos and then when you stand and you look more closely for a minute it's not chaotic at all. The kids know exactly what they're supposed to be doing. I think my favorite part of school is just how welcoming it is. It's a very humbling honor that I get to have every day because we have so many aha moments where kids are discovering something new. I get to have them all the time and it's really wonderful. Mm -hmm.